Okay everyone, the moment you've been long waiting for. I parked my 1963 Aulis Chalmers not articulating front end loader outside the building five and a half years ago. It's got a 1978 Monte Carlo 350, I mean 305 engine in it that I put in. Used to be a three cylinder Detroit diesel. The fucking thing's full of fucking bees. So, as you can see, I'm living dangerously. They're everywhere. Idiot. So, brought along my handy little squeeze bottle. Gotta climb up on here somehow. And I've already squeezed a bunch of gas down that old two barrel carburetor. Had a vice grip on the throttle because it was seized up so I rocked it back and forth and dumped some oil on it. Had a rad mounted over here. The regular transmission. I made a super stubby drive shaft to drive the giant hydraulic unit that's in there. That big round thing. An oil cooler. This beast will lift about 30,000 pounds. It's amazing. It just drives really slow. Haven't really needed it much lately, so that's why it's been sitting for so long, but it was working when I drove it here. That's the door I drove it out of. Of course the choke is on, the throttle's not stuck. There's no gas in the tank of the carburetor and there's no gas in the tank. I'm not going to put any gas in this thing until I find out if it's seized or if it's going to start. It's got nothing on this end, just open pulleys. Now I'm in the cockpit. Cut a battery. I got a battery sort of jerry rigged in. Cockpit. Power switch. This is a start button. Um, I gotta figure out how to get in here now. I'm in. There's the gas pedal. Front windshield's gone. Hood's gone. Let's turn it on. Contact. Here's the cooling fan. Let's see if it cranks. Cranking. Pump that bitch. She's awful tight. Well, I think I gotta see if it's a battery connection or a seizing motor. No luck so far. Here we go for try number three. Oh, <laughs> 
here we go for try number three. All right, I just shut her down. I have no idea if it's got any freeze in it. Couldn't get the rad cap off. It's kind of rusty, so before I run at her again, I'll check the fluids. Well, this deserves a celebration. Really thought she was going to be seized up. I drained the oil pan and uh, about five liters of water ran out as it was seeping around the rocker gaskets and the PCV valve and all that crap. Uh, it has antifreeze in it now. It's hooked up to a gas can sitting on the ground since the fuel tank inside this machine rusted out. So, let's uh, try to start it all by itself now with no squirting gas. It's turned on. Tighter button. Yeah. Whoa. I guess we do need to give it some throttle. <coughs> yeah. Push that throttle. I'm not sitting in it is because my battery and vice grips are on there because the terminals fell off and if I put the seat down it'll short out. Still a bit cold. Not a problem. Smells like a big block. to celebrate. Mm. Nothing like good Canadian whiskey. We're going to have to do a lift test, see if she'll lift after all these years. Uh oh. Keep running you bitch. Oh, what happened now?